safari? Well, hardly. Not really, but in a sort of way. Not entirely, but up to a point. Well, Get on with it! Oh, sorry. In fact, this is no ordinary safari park at all. Indeed, here I don't even have to get out of my car to see the animals. Because in this safari park, the animals are already in the car. Yes, here you can drive the animals around the park yourself. It saves all the bother and trouble of having to look out of the car window. Plus, you get the real feel of the animals. Sounds like a lot of fun. Or, if you prefer it, you can even be driven by the animals. This is probably the only safari park in the world where the animals drive around and look at the tourists. But this is not the only unusual park that has opened recently. Here at the safari car park, visitors can walk around in perfect safety and comfort while photographing and admiring cars in their natural state. Here a cluster of cortinas sprawl in the shade. There, an old Morris idly eyes a friendly little French Citroen. Providing you obey the signs and keep your distance, as some of these cars are killers, you can enjoy the freedom of the vehicles. Some people even build cleverly camouflaged hides to watch the rarer cars parked. But the ordinary tourist is content to watch the Fiats taking a bath or to see the Beatles having a medical checkup. Of course, you can see cars in an ordinary zoo. Here's a French Renault in Bristol Zoo. It's feeding time, but the Renault shows no interest. It looks tired and listless compared with the splendid freedom of the other cars parked in their natural state. Oi, Robin! Oh. And so we say farewell to the safari car park and return you to the studio. Oh, look, I'm sorry. Look, I had to say that. Look, please, look. I'm sorry, look, I had to do that. I had to say that. <laughs> Sexual freedom is certainly a tricky business. 